afternoon viewers welcome to another episode of safe distance and save lives this is your hostess malika sotinathan from canada being a canadian indian i always am intrigued by all this greek success with my my fellow canadian indians and i thought this would be a great opportunity to bring in another successful professional who is working in his lockdown hours in his lockdown ways in isolation and how is he working he's working with helping his people he's helping his clients he's helping his friends any time you call hari aya for a with a financial question or accounting he's there he always answers hari and i go back to toastmasters that brought us together and thereafter i found so many things that i learned from hari and every single day and everything it baffles me with his knowledge and expertise yes he is a professional accountant and helps that's his primary business but he also conducts leadership and youth programs today he is going to be talking and sharing with us more information about financial accounting and uh, all the things that people should be wary or basically get more information about all the different things that are available out there during this time it is a tough time in terms of economic in an economic sense because there is an economic meltdown we know that but that should not deter us from what we are doing every day and today today has become more important than tomorrow yesterday or in the future it is today that is important and keeping that in mind today we have with us hari aya professional accountant all the way from canada toronto welcome hari to the program safe distance and save lives thank you malika for having me here and <clears throat> i really appreciate what you are doing and you you i i know what you are doing with this webinar uh, series you are doing an amazing job and i really appreciate that and i'm very proud of you happy and proud of you yes hari uh, i'm so um, excited to have you in this program and uh, our viewers are really also excited because they want to know all the secrets that you have and i don't think they are secrets but people think financial things are always a secret but before we come to that how are you handling your personal life in this lockdown moments and uh, now uh, since you are all con- in in a place but please let us know about your life and lockdown uh yes we are under a lockdown situation in fact uh, uh, some of you know some of you may know that uh, may or may not know that i have been uh, working from my home office for last 17 years now me and my wife we both work and we we have we serve clients so yes, sir thousands of clients can you share with me about the government initiative that you were talking about about the entrepreneur so the government is basically uh, worried about uh, or i would say not worried government is supporting the mm-hmm. entrepreneur canadian entrepreneurs and is coming out with some uh, of the initiatives would you like to share some of that information and how you are helping inform your clients basically and also other people friends around the government of uh, canada has announced lots of uh, the covid emergency fund benefits for the small businesses and uh, one of them is called the uh, canada emergency business uh, for the business owners that is they reimburse up to 75% of the uh, uh, wage subsidies basically uh, the employers the small business owners will pay salaries to the employees and the government will give 75% wage subsidy that's for four months and that's a big help uh, for the small business entrepreneurs and uh, by giving the 75% the employees can retain the employees and uh, the employees can can get their jobs actually and the other one which they have just uh, last week they introduced is the rent subsidy for the commercial landlords and uh, again for the small business owners the rent is a big component uh, it's a big big operating cost for for the small business owners and the government is basically giving a 50% loan to the landlords that need not be repaid so as a tenant you pay only 25% of your rent and the 50% will be 
taken as a loan by the landlord and the landlord will write off 25%. So as a tenant, you get a 75% benefit. And this is again for four months. That's a big, big step government of Canada has taken. Plus they have also announced uh, benefits up to uh, benefits of up to $1,250 for the students. Because there are students who have come here, the, the local students and foreign students, they, they, they have lost their jobs because students normally they work for about up to 20 hours a week and uh, now there is no work for them. So the government has given the benefit of $1,250 for each student. Again, that's for another four months. There is also a emergency benefit, COVID emergency fund for the individuals up to $2,000. Again, there are some conditions, uh, for example, uh, and as an individual, you can apply for $2,000 benefit if, if you lost your job and provided, again, you have earned at least $5,000 in, uh, in the previous year. And so uh, thousands and thousands of people have got, got $2,000 benefit. Thank you for sharing that, uh, Hari, and that's so important because there's so much of fine lines in between and people lose track. And uh, most of our viewers are from Canada and also the world. They're looking at different, every leader, every country is coming with various kinds of in initiatives as we are all facing the same thing and learning from each other. Uh, coming to that, this is a very busy period for you. I remember during this time I'd call you and you did not have time even to talk. You had such a few minutes and not because of anything, because you're so busy helping people with I've seen you in action. So especially how this with this uh, whole economic thing, how do you how do you think it's going to impact in your professional life now? Because also uh, all these taxes have been we are I think given an extra time to file the taxes, and but that means you're more. Um, you I saw your studio gadgets you shared with us, so you're more online right now. So how is your hours and how? How basically, how are you helping your, these clients and what kind of questions they're asking you? Because if we have, we would also like to uh, basically show them how they could contact you if people can consult you maybe. Because I think uh, over the years, I have seen that expertise. Thank you. Yeah, Malika, I have been working actually for about 15, 16 hours every day. It's 12 months, 365 days. Uh, even at this time, I work for about 15, 16 hours a day. So there are questions people, they come and ask about all this. And uh, yes, um, from the business point of view, the, see any crisis, it impacts any business, every business. And uh, so I cannot say that the crisis has not affected my business. So if I say that I would be undermining uh, the crisis. Take for example, in this crisis, I'm sure you would have seen uh, lots of people posting pictures uh, on uh, social media about the food they are cooking and the reason is because now there are some people who have never cooked they they have started learning cooking watching youtube universities and all those channels and they started cooking they they started uh, 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 spending more time with the family uh, now i would like to uh, since you work with a lot of youth also in youth initiative programs i would like also for you to give us a message for the youth because I know uh, you work with various generation and that's your professional front, but your passion I know is talking to the youth and conducting various seminars and programs for them. You're yourself a John Maxwell uh, um, uh, from the John Maxwell School. So please share your message to the youth and the importance of uh, being visible and basically making a difference in the society. See, uh, yes, uh, if a person has to be successful, any person, and um, basically we call them as a leader, and every person should have a servant mentality or a servant attitude. You have to help other people. Only then you will be successful. You cannot be, I cannot be selfish. And if I want to be successful, if I want to be successful, I have to help other people. And that is what... Uh, in my my, uh, my leadership company called Success Forever, we inculcate these habits among the youth, saying that you help other people, you, you have to learn first yourself. If you do not know, how can you teach other people? So, how, so basically learn, read lots of books. There are 
thousands of materials online and some of them are free. Uh, watch YouTube uh, uh, self-development uh, videos. There are, again, there are millions of videos on YouTube. Uh, watch the TEDx. TEDx, there are lots of videos. Watch them learn all, learn all the uh, self-development and the leadership qualities and aspects that's required for a person to grow. Amazing afternoon with us. And I'm sure our viewers are going to be excited with this segment. Thank you again. Thank you.